Good morning, August 17th, and we've just started Oregon Section D of our PCT adventure. Section D starts two miles back that way at Highway 138, uh, just near the Crater Lake National Park boundary, and finishes at Highway 58 near Willamette Pass. It's 60.1 miles in length, and we expect to do this in two days. Um, today we're doing about 30 miles, tomorrow we're doing the rest of them to finish off. But um, we are aiming tomorrow to get to Shelter Cove, which is just off the PCT, where we've got a resupply box. There's also the opportunity then to have a little bit of laundry shower and some real food again. So no doubt we'll catch up with you in a little while. Bye. point in Washington and Oregon at 7,560 feet. It seems tiny when you compare it to the heights we was in in Sierra but there you go but we are further north doing well today. Daniel's flying along the trail one-handed yeah it's really good. I'll catch up with you later. Bye. completed 30 miles and it's been fantastic trail and we've actually got to camp for 7.30 p.m. which is our best time on a 30 mile day yet. Woohoo! That was a bit of trail magic at Windigo Pass. Good morning, Saturday, August 18th, and we've just had some amazing trail magic. As you saw me eat, we had burger, crisps, soda, or pop if you're in the UK, and also to finish, we had a massive bowl of ice cream as well really good provided by Wolf, a trail angel. Um, they've just set up at Windigo Pass and then they're just feeding hikers. That was just amazing and it's not even lunchtime. We're back on trail but instead of being on the PCT we're taking an alternate route to Shelter Cove which is our destination anyway and this is called the Oregon Skyline Trail. Um, it's supposedly a more scenic route and a more direct route to Shelter Cove um, it also shaves a few miles off the PCT, but it does enable us to get very close to Shelter Cove tonight where we can get in tomorrow morning 
and save uh, as half a day basically which means we are guaranteed to get to sisters in a few days time when we need to get in to meet a friend and also to buy a new sleep bed for Danielle. American biscuits, sausage gravy and scrambled egg. the 19th of August. We arrived at Shelter Cove this morning. It's a little fishing uh, resort off the PCT in Oregon, Southern Oregon. Um, we sent ourselves a resupply box here so we've had to come in and collect it but in the meantime we have had showers and we've done some laundry um, but we're just going to see what we've sent ourselves and work out what else we might need to get before we go in terms of fresh. changed our um, diet along the trail. This is about the third time um, because we were getting bored of some things plus we needed to um, up the amount of calories. So for breakfast now Wayne has um, these fruit pies. So he's got a few flavours, apple, cherry and blackberry. One per day. Um, we've got tissues again. Um, we've got some tuna to go in our wraps. Spicy Thai new set of maps. We've managed to find some spam in a packet again. We've not had any of this for ages but it just adds to um, protein and flavour of different meals. And then we've got our old favourites, Idaho mash. We've got some um, dehydrated dinners, vegetables and rice. And then different flavourings, we've got some salmon, stir fry mix, mayonnaise, some cheese <laughs> that seems to have melted <laughs> over the time it's been mailed. <laughs> um, and a, oh, toothpaste. And a whole box of different snacks. We've tried really hard this time. Um, we've tried really hard this time to go more along the lines of um, protein bars and proper snack bars. So the ones in America that you can get are Luna bars, Cliff bars. Um, we've still got some traditional chocolate bars, but we're kind of going off chocolate a bit, so not many of those. And Wayne's found some really nice dark chocolate treats, raspberries, cherries and almond in dark chocolate. So they're after a long day's hike. And the other bar that's really good are Lara bars. Um, still got our trusted tuna in a packet. And um, we've gone back to having tortillas as well because we just find that they keep longer and they're more filling. So um, this whole box should last us the next three days of food. Yeah, chicken pasta pizza, please. 